Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister Karen in the side of Christ, the side of the Messiah, the side of Nazareth. If you want to know why, I call God the higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yeshahel. Yeshahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yeshahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church. Whom our great king is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. All right. You can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's pride there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher hallelujah thank you for liking the videos thank you for watching the videos thank you for sharing the videos thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters thank you very very much thank you for thank you to those beautiful beloved who have blessed me through paypal I really, really appreciate it. And also on this platform by hitting the thanks button. Thank you so much, brothers and sisters. Your love and charity uh, in your love offering. A higher sees it and it will not go amiss. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Lord. All right. Uh, we are near, we're only near to the returning of the beautiful, glorious, majestic, hallelujah, Messiah, Yesiah the Christ. But we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty antichrist yes brothers and sisters that man is coming i'm telling you daniel 7 verse 25 is about to be fulfilled satan through the antichrist will seek to change time laws and seasons and it will be given to him in his hands brothers and sisters this world is going to become lawless wicked Yesiah says, pray to be found worthy to escape this type of world. I believe that the worthiness that Yesiah is talking about is the woman in Revelation 12. The woman in Revelation 12 represents the 12 Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth that went through the transatlantic slavery. Ahai is going to regather his people. It is going to happen. It is called the great worldwide second exodus. Many people believe that the regathering of Yeshahel, they call it Israel, the modern day state Israel down there. They said that that's a higher went into Europe. They said they said God went into Europe and brought his, his people back to where they belong. It's not them. I don't know who they are, but those are not the Hebrew Yeshaelites. Uh, all I know, the true Hebrew Yeshaelites are scattered. They went through the transatlantic slavery and dispersed all over the world. The most is going to regather his people. Then after that, the, the sixth seal opened. That is Yesiah coming in the clouds of glory. So second Exodus, then the sixth seal. All right. Prophetic theme song is called We Are Near. song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. She used to hide sweeties and toys and when we're near to the stuff. She used to sing a song called How Near You Are, fitting song for these end times, because we are near. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near. And we can sing that song with right confidence. All right, brothers and sisters. Okay, all right. So the most that uh, higher. Hold on, brothers and sisters. Hold on. <coughs> so the most that uh, higher <coughs> as put a revelation in my spirit <laughs> and brothers and sisters listen to me when the Lord revealed this truth to me I said mighty God of creation what what have the wicked done what have the wicked done to humanity When I release this revelation, many of you will not believe because some of you, not everybody, some of you, when I do a prophecy, um, 
you feel more comfortable if it's coming from a medics and then you have your proof but when it's coming from a a, a normal Joe blog like myself revealing through the spirit some people find it hard to believe because their faith is lacking right I don't think some people understand listen to me because this is what the Lord has been impressing in my spirit first and foremost let me warn you let me tell you brothers and sisters that the zom zom zombie call it zom zom the zom zom apocalypse is inevitable there's no if buts or maybe it is no it 100 percent will happen you will see it happening in front of your eyes for some people it is going to be extremely overwhelming fear is going to cripple some people but those of us who belong to the most higher hallelujah we will stand on our faith now the wicked there's certain changes it's like drip 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 right and there's certain changes that the body has to go through before the final transformation of the entity takes over the body what the Lord showed me in the realm of the spirit, brothers and sisters, listen to me. <laughs> yeah, you have to really be called by the Most High. Because when these revelations come through, it takes you into a different place. Mostly men. Mostly men will be affected when the Zom Zom comes about. Why is that? Mostly men. Lord showed it to me. If you have a 100 people who have took the moonshot and 80% um, or say sorry 70% male, 30% female. But mostly men, mostly men are going to succumb to the wicked moonshot. Those men who have not repented. Who have not seek the face of the most high. And say father I've done wrong. I've sinned against you. I've taken something in my body that I should not. And I think that this is to do with ego. Isn't it? This is the ego that carries um, our male species in this world. I believe that it's very easy for a woman to <laughs> cry out in repentance than a man, to be honest with you. But male is targeted. It's a target. Because you see, they are the stronger, what you call it? They are the stronger vessels, so to speak. And so male, 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 they're, they're targeted. <laughs> I've given visions... I've given revelation concerning people have taken the people have taken the moonshot and doing anki panky. So one brothers and sisters, look, I know it's difficult and I know it's hard, but some people internal system will not be okay. It is a truth. It just won't be okay, especially the private area, brothers and sisters, and this is what the Lord has shown me. The Most High are showing me that where the male seamen is concerned, I saw in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. Sorry for hearing background noises. My kids are playing, making a bit of noise. I saw the Lord show me a, 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 like, it's like a, a, a pictorial form. A pictorial format of um, the, the male semen, the sperm, so to speak. And brothers and sisters, as you know that, um, you know, <coughs> you know what the male semen looks like. We all know that. Those of us who are adults and stuff like that. We know what it looks like. We know the formation and stuff like that. But what the Lord showed me in the realm of the spirit, I saw... Um, 
I saw the Lord show me uh, the semen of a man. And what I saw was not semen, it was worms. Are you listening to what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? Are you listening to what I'm saying? What I saw, what the Lord showed me was literally worms swimming up wherever it was going. You know where it's going. All right. That's what the Lord showed me in the realm of the spirit. Because the aim of the moonshot is to decode the natural innate immune system of a person that is the aim to break to literally break down the innate system of a person so the time is coming brother the time is coming brothers and sisters where these were people because you, you see it's a fallen angel or aliens. We call them aliens, some people. We call them fallen angels. Some people call them aliens. Um, it's them that has created the moonshot. It's not man. And what they have done, brothers and sisters, they've put their own DNA in the stuff. And fallen angel DNA is serpent. It's a, it's a, it's a snake. So when I say worm, literally what I'm saying, these are little baby snakes going up to um to fertilize the egg of a woman you might say to me well sister Karen what about the woman if she's taking the moonshot and unfortunately she's gonna succumb to this horrible zom zom apocalypse the Lord didn't show me the egg of a woman concerning this but certainly Affection is going to be there in it. It's going to be affected. It is going to be affected without a doubt. But the, the, the target is the male. The target is the male because the target is the male. Like I say at the beginning of the video, when the Zom Zom apocalypse happen, mostly male will... Um, if you have a hundred zom zom, 70% is going to be male. It's a high number, isn't it? A very, very, very high number, brothers and sisters. So, um, that's why maybe Ahaya didn't really show me the, the fertilization process in terms of the female who have taken the moonshot. People have got to wake up like, yeah, people have to wake up and understand the times and the seasons that we're living in because it is perilous and it is end times. This world is very, very wicked. You've got to understand that Satan is creating, if Satan wants to create AI, artificial intelligence, to rule and reign, don't you think he's going to corrupt humanity? If he tries to corrupt humanity which he did in the days of Noah. What makes us um, off limit that we can say, oh no, that will never happen. Oh no, 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 no. Why do you think that women were having giant babies? Why? Why do you think women were having giant babies, giant, giant children? Right, because the DNA is corrupted. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, there's corruption from the moonshot in this, um, where the DNA is concerned. And it specifically targets the reproductive system for some reason. That is how Satan wants it, isn't it? It targets it. And so, some, not all, some men, some men rather, um, the semen will not be semenic, semenic fluid, your normal semenic fluid, your normal sperm. It will not that. It will not be that. It will change into the baby, microscopic, tiny snake. Ahaya never lies. Ahaya cannot lie. Father, help me to find that vision, please. 
gave the vision about six months ago, six or seven months ago, where the Lord showed me a woman lying on the bed naked, ready to rush or ready to do the anki panky with a man. And the angel of the Lord intervened and warned the woman. Why is that? Why did the angel warn the woman and not the man? Because this most a man that's affected, people don't know this. But this is revealed to me in the realm of the spirit that it's mostly men will be affected when the zom zom begin to happen and their sperm is being targeted. It won't be sperms, it'll be snakes, baby snake, tiny little worms traveling up. That's the reason why you must keep yourself. Do not sleep around. All right, you might say, well, well if my husband takes it, well, he's got to pray, ain't it? Really and truly. What else can I say? They got to repent. I believe if they truly repent, a higher will reverse. Go stand on the earth. Go stand on mother ground. Go stand on the grass. Speak to the most style. Let the earth, the earth's got healing properties. Let the earth draw out that wicked, dirty toxin that you've put in your body. And so in this powerful vision, brothers and sisters, some of you will remember it. I need to find it, Father, help me. Um... The woman was on the bed. She was ready to do the anky panky with this guy. And the angel of the Lord intervened and said to the woman, remember this vision was seven, eight months ago or something like that. And the, the angel of the Most High intervened and said to the woman, do not sleep with this man. And I think I think I turned around and said to the angel, why? And not what we came, but I said, why? And the angel of Ahia says that because his sperm is infected. This was seven months ago. A higher cannot lie. And today, what date is it today? Today, the fifth. When did the Lord tell me about this? Either the yesterday, the fourth. The fourth or the fifth of September. I get my days muddled up. The most I begin to speak to my spirit. And he began to show me the sperm of a man. And he showed me that the, the, the natural formation will be turned into baby snakes going up the philippian tube well, not philippian tube going up wherever it's going to get the egg Jesus Christ, God. <sighs> brothers and sisters this stuff i'm telling you honestly honestly listen to me i've done a video last year the lord placed it on my heart the Lord began to show me in the room of the spirit. The movie, The Fly. Have you seen that movie, The Fly? Where the guy literally got infected with this fly thing. And he literally turned into a fly. And he showed that the woman was having a baby but she was dreaming. Because they were in a relationship whilst they were turning. But she didn't know. She didn't know that it was... So if he's turning, I know it's a movie. And some of you just say, oh, it's a Karen, it's only a movie. Well... If he's turning, you just, what? You just think only his face is turning into a fly. Everything else is internal organs. It's completely fine. It's completely human. No. Everything is affected. This is what people... Look at my son making a lot of noise. This is what... Um, hold on. Sorry about that, brothers and sisters. I'm making so much noise. Um, this is what brothers and sisters need to understand. That with the, mo with, with the moonshot, it affects everything every single thing the one stage i think Nicki minaj came out and also did a couple of videos on nikki um and she talked about the inactive willy the inactive willy all right and she got stick for it that she needed education and stuff like that but she was speaking the truth Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, this moonshot business that these wicked, dirty, serpentine, fallen angel people have given out to humanity. Most men will be affected who have taken the moonshot unless they repent and pray. I'm telling you, most of them are going to be zumzums. This is serious. People have to repent and turn to the most star before it is too late brothers and sisters like got to turn to a higher because we're heading into some things the Bible says that men heart fail them for looking at these things coming upon the earth I mean if the wicked is trying to fuse 
you know, different types of animals together. And no doubt, I do believe, I do believe that these wicked scientists, right, have tried to fuse human egg with animal egg, trying to create something. I do believe that, brothers and sisters. But this is a time and a dispensation that we're living in. And we have to, we have to understand what we're doing. Because if we don't understand what we're doing, brothers and sisters, um, we're going to be in for a rough ride. Got to understand the times and the seasons that we're living in. But I wanted to come with this divine revelation. And like I said, I know some people won't believe. You're only going to believe when you're going to, when, you know, maybe people like, I don't know. These doctors who are always against the moonshot comes out and said, Oh, well, yes, we look underneath the microscope and we see the sperm and it's not a real sperm. I don't know what it is. It looks like baby worms. They're not baby worms. They're literally snakes. The devil is trying to turn humanity into something, into his world. This moonshot, brothers and sisters, is very serious. People have to repent. That is the only thing. Repentance is of a key that is it repentance is the key all right we come to the end of the video um um i leave the the i can't find this in a spray where is it send this in a spray with me if you have not accepted Isaiah as the lord and savior there you say the christ i know that you're the son of a higher whom the world calls god i believe that Isaiah died on the cross for my sins Isaiah. I thank you for dying for me and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection and that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you're the son of Ahaya, Yesaya, king of glory. I come before you right now asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways, Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesaya. And I pray that you help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, believe with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts chapter 2, verse 28, where the Bible talks 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. You know, need to find a man of the most high. Asking to fully dunk you, fully baptize in water, spiritual transformation. When you go down in water, you believe that Yesiah died on the cross. Uh, you believe in the torment of sin. Man of the most high raised you out of the water, you're raised into new life, you're raised into the glory and the power of Christ resurrection beautiful stuff so be bold be strong be courageous walk with Ahaya just like Enoch kind of the mindset of Job all praises all beautiful praises to the most Ahaya who lives above the heavens Ahaya eternally bless you I love you all and I will see you soon someday in glory in your size only name benediction Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 the Bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Isaiah our saviour be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen blessings amen